take a look at some of the front pages of the newspapers. And the Mail on Sunday is leading with what it calls a unanimous verdict from the UK's chief medical officers that it is safe for children to return to school next month as they face an exceptionally small risk from coronavirus. Yeah, this is one of the big themes on BBC Breakfast this morning as well. If you want to get in touch and tell us how confident you feel about your children going back, if you're in Scotland already and they are back at school, tell us how it's working for you. You can contact us at BBC Breakfast. We'd love to hear from you. Sunday Telegraph also focuses on this, the return to classrooms in England next month. But it leads on a vow by the Prime Minister that a failure to reopen schools is not an option. And there he is in a picture with his fiancée Carrie Simmons and their son Wilfred. They've been on holiday in Scotland. Well, on the front of the Observer, the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, criticises Boris Johnson, accusing him of putting plans to get all children back to school in September at serious risk. And on the Metro, it's back to those pictures of Boris Johnson on holiday. Carrie Simons uploaded the images to Instagram after the location of their getaway was revealed by the papers. Shall we have a look inside? Um, there's a great story. And you'll know that we've been talking a lot this week about all the quarantine rules that are changing. Uh, first it was Spain, then France, uh, and now, of course, uh, Croatia and Austria. Um, but in the paper this morning suggesting that uh, Brits, thousands of Brits are refusing to be panicked, it says, by the prospect of a fortnight in quarantine and therefore choosing to stick to their plans regardless. And it suggests that if a lot of people are able to work from home, then quarantining for the two weeks uh, doesn't necessarily mean you wouldn't be able to work um, and you'd be able to carry on working from home. But what we always need to remind people of is that the quarantine rules are really quite strict. It's different to self-isolating, yes. isn't it? Um, so it means that, yeah, lockdown uh, was one set of rules mm. and you can maybe go out for exercise and yeah. that sort of thing. But quarantine means you can only go out of the house for, I think it's two or three very specific things, like going for medical attention, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, so people may be lulled into a false sense of security yeah i mean for some people maybe it's just a way of extending their holiday just <laughs> chilling at home for a while but that's only if you can afford to either take the time exactly. off or work from yeah. home yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. different uh, there's also this story inside talking about the renaissance of uh tinned food in the uh, lockdown period um so all these tins and th they've lined them up here but in particular things like corn beef apparently sales of corn beef have gone through the roof. Uh, new figures show overall sales of canned food soared by 72%. And there is a corned beef hash there with fried eggs. That's a great looking breakfast, isn't it? I had corned beef for the first time last week. <laughs> I had it for ages. It's been a tin that's been sat at the back of the cupboard for months, but I thought I'd better eat it. Uh, and we were talking about the wild <laughs> How weather. How old was it? That's a question. It was still in date. Uh, just about. <laughs> Fines of up to £10,000 for the organisers of illegal mass gatherings will come into force in England next week. From Friday, anyone attending events with more than 30 people will also face fines of £100 each. It comes as police are handed more powers to deal with those flouting coronavirus lockdown restrictions following a rise in incidents.